This is a mini lecture for the male reproductive system and we will start by reviewing the major male reproductive structures. There are two testes which are glands that produce testosterone and sperm. Within the testes are seminiferous tubules which are small coiled up tubes that produce sperm. The scrotum is the external sac that contains both testes and the epididymis is actually located on top of each of the testes and it's a storage area where sperm mature and develop. The vas deferens, also known as ductus deferens, is a tube that carries sperm out of the epididymis and through the seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicles are two glands located behind the bladder that produce seminal fluid. The prostate gland is a single gland located directly under the bladder that contributes to seminal fluid as well. Seminal vesicles are right here. You can see one of them here, and the prostate gland is this structure under the bladder. The bubble urethral glands are not visible on this picture because they're very small. They are, there's two pea-sized glands located under the prostate and they also contribute to seminal fluid. The urethra is a single tube that passes through the penis and it carries urine and semen out of the body. So it extends from the base of the bladder to the outside of the body. And the penis is the structure that delivers sperm to the female reproductive tract. So some key terms related to the male reproductive system, the term gamete refers to a reproductive cell. This could be either a sperm or an ovum, which is in females. Um, the male gamete is sperm. Libido is the term for sex drive. Semen is fluid that contains sperm and seminal fluid secreted from the seminal vesicles, the prostate gland, and the bulbourethral glands. A sphincter is a circular or ring-like muscle that opens and closes an opening. And, and these are just some combining forms, prefixes and suffixes related to this body system. Um, so now we'll get into the pathology. Some sexually transmitted infections are listed here. Gonorrhea is associated with dysuria, which is painful urination, and white discharge. Chlamydia is the most prevalent one, um, most prevalent type of the, this type of infection, and it's often the most damaging. Unfortunately, it's quite often initially asymptomatic, so the individual doesn't always realize that they have it until some damage has been done. Syphilis is the most serious one. If untreated, it can affect multiple body systems, including the nervous system. And genital herpes causes red blister-like sores in the genital region, and this is very infectious. It's easily spread. Prostate cancer. This usually occurs in males over the age of 50, and some symptoms are listed in your study outline um, often treatment includes uh, radiation and sometimes a prostatectomy, which is a surgical removal of the prostate. Testicular cancer, on the other hand, usually occurs in younger males between the ages of 15 and 34. Um, symptoms are included in your, in your outline. Um, and then treatment can include removal of the testes along with radiation and chemotherapy. So other diseases and conditions are um, listed on the next few slides. Benign prostatic hyperplasia is shown here. Um, this is enlargement of the prostate gland, which you can see definitely on this picture. This is often due to aging. So what ends up happening is it constricts the urethra, which passes right through the prostate gland, and that can restrict the flow of urine. Cryptorchidism, this is undescended testes 
Erectile dysfunction is the inability to achieve or maintain an erection. Hypogonadism is a decrease or lack of production of hormones by the gonads. Um, in the case of a male, it would be the testes. Hypospadias is when the urethral opening is located underneath the penis. Prostatitis is inflammation of the prostate gland. Testicular torsion. This is a spontaneous twisting of a testicle within the scrotum. Spermatocele is a fluid-filled sac that develops in the epididymis. A hydrocele, which is shown here, is a swelling of the sac surrounding the testes. And a varicocele is swelling of the veins in the spermatic cord, which would be up here. Orchitis is inflammation of one or both testes. Okay, some medical and surgical procedures are on this slide. Digital rectal exam examines the rectal wall and the prostate gland. An orchiectomy is the removal of one or both testes. Circumcision is removal of the foreskin that covers the end of the penis. A vasectomy is removal of all or a portion of the vas deferens, and the purpose is for male sterilization. Some diagnostic tests that can be performed, um, there's two here. Prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, is a blood test to detect prostatic disorders, especially cancer. And a semen analysis is analysis of a semen sample for volume, sperm count, and motility of sperm. Pharmacology, androgens, will increase testosterone levels in a male. Antiandrogens suppress androgen production. These are sometimes used to treat prostate cancer. And anti-impotence agents, these treat erectile dysfunction.